Hi guys, this tutorial is a mixed technique of Tekkit method and Hydro Dip. And for the glitter, you you want to use a holographic glitter as I've heard that other glitters won't work. And I'm using Tekkit over and over by Elin's disposable cups and spoon, your tumbler and a piece of paper to catch all the glitters. And you'll also need a little bit of water to dilute the glue. So you'll have to mix one part glue and one part water. And you don't really need to be exact, but that's basically how much you'll need. After that, you take your brush and you spread it onto the tumbler. Also, if you notice, my tumbler is very streaky. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered because it will eventually be covered with glitter. So, your base don't need to be perfect. Then you sprinkle the glitter onto the glued tumbler and make sure every bit is covered because that is really important. And then this is the most dreadful part, for me at least. You'll have to rub the glitter off the tumbler. It looks easy, but really it isn't and it hurts my fingers so bad. And I think I redo this like two times already. And even with the gloved fingers, my fingers actually burn. <laughs> It's so painful to be rubbing all those glitter off. And for the hydro tip bit, I'm using the marabou in white, crystal clear, gold and black. You will also need your glitter tumbler and gloves. This is by the way solvent based and there's a strong smell to it too. So make sure you're in a ventilated space when when doing this. And you just randomly drop the ink in the water.
And when it's time to dip the tumbler inside, make sure you're on an angle, like 45 degrees. And you can also choose to turn your tumbler as you dip or just push it down depending if you want any swirls. If you choose to turn your tumblers as you dip, you will be creating swirls. But if not, then you will get lesser swirls when you just push it down. And once submerged, make sure you clean up the rest that's on the surface of the water. And this is how it looks like after hydro dip. And this is just like not even 5 minutes after the dip. It's not sealed yet, so the ink can still trans be transferred to your hands. After that, you will want to seal the Hydro Deep Tumbler with E6000 at least 3 times and drench it in glue like the e6000 glue because if you don't you will have problem with it reacting with the bright tone or extreme protection due to it being a solvent based product and the sealer is water based so it will not seal properly so this e6000 acts like another layer for the bright tone to stick onto so you spray generously and let it dry in front of a fan and then once dried you spray again and let it dry and then you spray again and let it dry overnight. If it's dripping too much, um what I usually do is I take a brush after after I spray it, I will take a brush and then I will lightly brush the glue so that it's evenly spread it. The next day I seal it with bright tone and I suggest you do three coats of bright tone before moving on to vinyls to play safe. you don't have to use so much i would recommend you to always do the first layer thinly and then you build it up and that's it thank you for watching also if you're interested to know how to make this alcohol ink ombre that my husband did and this fine to chunky ombre tumbler that I did, let me know in the comment section and I'll make him spill his alcohol ink ombre secrets for you. And we'll be doing our first giveaway. Please stay tuned for that. And please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.